Well, hi, Youth Ministers. I'm sitting in my office today and just finishing up a few things, getting ready to send you your weekly Devo and information. Um, by now, you've probably figured out that I definitely move according to the Spirit. So at times, we really get on where we feel like God is calling us and we begin to do things. And then God says, oh, we're going to go this way. And so then we change. So I thank you for being flexible to where the Spirit is moving us and being flexible where the Spirit is moving you. So I have a few quick announcements that I just wanted to get out to you. Uh, the first one is about districts. Wow. Districts was amazing. I could not um, fathom them. I'm still in awe and trying to unpack all of the good things that God has done. We had three youth that decided um, for sure they want to follow Jesus. So that was amazing. And so those three youth, I think, have heard uh, about God's word before, but heard it in a different way that weekend to the point where they decided to take this challenge up. So praise God for that. That's pretty good stuff. And we had every single student that came make some sort of declaration for a challenge, whether that was to challenge that they no longer want to put Jesus in their pocket and only bring him out when they need him, or, or they wanted to challenge um, to become pure ministers where they wanted to bring others closer to Christ. So that was pretty cool to see those challenges, which then means we have a big road ahead of us because that means that God is wanting us and needing us to prepare them for these challenges that they set forth. Um, so which brings me to our new plan. Um, I'm going to show you my board. I've been doing some vision casting, um, when we were at districts and I've been doing it a bit today. Um, and through prayer the last couple days, I'm going to, okay. So here is the, uh, 2017 goals that we are looking at. And, um, because of the new commitments that these students have made, I've made up two new pathways and that's up here the new pathways that have been created. So the first one is going to be a pathway that focuses on new believers and seeking baptism. Those students who have not been baptized yet or those students who have just uh, decided that they want to be a follower of Christ. Um, and so those will meet in small group form. And we'll have a few key topics that focus on things like the Trinity, Bible 101, how to practice your faith, and baptism. And we'll start that around February, March. Now, assuming we're going to keep with the traditional large group first and third Sunday of the month, this will happen on the second and fourth Sunday of the month. The next pathway are for those students who want to bring others and draw others closer to Christ. So those will be our peer ministers. So our peer minister pathway will begin in April through May. And they'll meet as a small group, um, either during their small group time on the second and fourth Sunday, or we may need to meet every Sunday at 8 to 9 a.m. And that will cover topics uh, on how to be a peer minister, such as your faith, how to tell you about your faith, your story, your testimony, um, how to know God's story, evangelism, or spend some deep time in evangelism, um, some time in coaching, and time and talking about relation uh, responsibility as a peer minister and what does that mean? So those two key pathways are ones that um, I will take the the lead on and really bring those students growing into those uh, pathways. The next one, uh, obviously, one of the goals for 2017 for youth ministry is to continue to build uh, relationships with those youth. Connecting with you youth ministers and helping to train you, uh, meeting one-on-one and doing home visitations with those students. The other one that I heard a lot about while we were at districts is there's a great group for the boys, but what about the girls? So we're going to start a senior high girls youth group. Not a youth group, a senior high girls small group, I should say. And so figuring out what day that might meet. We may actually meet before school or we may meet after school. Um... And some of the ladies were thinking maybe we would meet outside of church. So I'm excited about that one. And I will lead that and hope that other female leaders will join in. The next one is the one in green. Woo, woo. Mission trip 2017. We'll start kicking that off uh, through Bible studies in May through July. But we'll start that even now um, because we have a lot of fundraising to do. So that's something that we'll be looking at. I'm going to have to cap that at about 30. Um, so we're going to have to look at maybe having a say once we're full, we're full. Um, the next goal is going to be connecting in the schools. So look out for this one because I will be taking a bigger role in the FCA, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Thorpe. I plan on teaching. I'm already teaching one in February. 
And with Amy's help, we're going to start up an FCA in Stanley Boyd. So keep an eye on that one. Um, and then continuing with the large group sessions, service on one of those Sundays, and then organizing all the small groups. Um, and, and just getting us all on the same page and making sure that we're all kind of growing in the same direction um, and that we don't have any groups that are subgroups that really just are doing their own thing. So that's our general plan um, for youth ministry coming up in 2017. And I just want to let you know that if you have any um, ideas about where God might be calling you and calling us, please say something. We are a team. Um, and any feedback is always welcome and needed. Please know that if there's something going on with the students, you have a, a ability to use me as a resource to call me um, and know that I am always praying for you. So here is this piece of scripture I really want you to hold on to and think about because I think that it really plays where we are now. And this comes from 1 Samuel um, chapter 12, verse 16. And it says this, Now therefore stand still. And see this great thing that the Lord will do before your eyes. So I hope and pray that you will be standing still at the same time moving. And that you will keep your eyes on what God will be doing. Um, and seeing the great things that is going to happen in this year to come. So thank you so much for all that you do. And I hope and pray that God will continue to guide and bless you. Um, have a great week. Bye.